So first of all, just to um, wrap our brains around where these numbers and place values are, one way to think about it is that we have the symmetry around the ones, or they're really similar. So we have our ones in our decimal, but then um, surrounding that, now the numbers are similar. Mm -hmm. So we have our tens and our tenths, and then our hundreds and our hundredths, thousands and thousands, and ten thousands and ten thousands. And it would so keep going on and yeah. on, just like that. So it's just a way to help you remember place value after the decimal, especially. Mm -hmm. So if you think about symmetry, is when you can fold something on half in half and it will land right on top of itself. So if you fold right on top of this one, like right there, all of those will then land on top of each other. So if that helps you think about it that way, that was just another little quick visual to help you out. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, now, one thing to think about, though, when you're comparing numbers and decimals is you need to look at the number to the left first. So um, anything, like when you're comparing two numbers, then always want to look at your numbers to the left first. So, for example, we have 456 definitely greater than 123 because in our hundreds place value, a 4 is definitely larger than a 1. Yep. All right, so now we're going to show you a couple of examples. So in this case, we're looking at two numbers, and we're going to compare them with the greater than, less than. And I know you guys are big, bad fifth graders, but if it helps you to remember the little alligator eats the bigger number, then just remember it that way. Honestly, okay. I still think about it that way, too. Me, too. It's okay. <laughs> so if we're looking at these numbers, and again, there's 323 here, 223 here, we want to look all the way to the left-hand side. We know we both have... Uh, or they both have hundreds, is as big as it goes. So I'm going to be looking at the hundreds place. So in this case, the 300 is bigger than the 200. So 323 and 12 hundredths is larger than 223 and 12 hundredths. So again, we're looking at the first part. Now, sometimes the first number is the same. So I like to think of it if you are putting words in alphabetical order, which I know you guys worked on in first grade, second grade, third grade. You know how to do that. If you have two words that start with the same letter, then you know you have to move on to the next letter. Well, it's the same thing here. If mm -hmm. you have a number that starts like these ones start with 3, both of them have 300. You have to move on to the next place value. Mm -hmm. So we move on to the 4s. Well, that's still the same. And we move on to the 1s place. It's still the same. Decimal. Move on over to the 10s. In this case, we finally have something different. In this one, we have a 1. This one, we have a 2. So which number's bigger? 2. So, 344 and 23 hundredths is larger. So again, like these ones are identical until you get there. So you just look at the part where it becomes something different. And then the last example, we have both of these. And again, we'll look at them. The sevens, we start at the hundreds, are the same. The sixes are the same. So we just keep moving over. Six is the same. Decimal. Two, two. And then once we get into the hundreds place, we have a three here and a 4 here. So which one of those is bigger, a 3 or a 4? Hopefully you all know 4 <laughs> is bigger than 3. So 766 and 242 thousandths is larger. So we have a couple of examples here to look at and we just want you to look at these, write them down, and now you get to do your little alligator mouth mm -hmm. and figure out which ones are greater than. So take a minute to do that and pause and then we'll walk through them. All right, looking here, oh, I think we're just going to show you the answers and then walk through them. Yeah. So, voila. Ooh. I love these <laughs> special effects. So, just see how you did. Looking here, once again, before the decimal, we have a 7 and a 7. Mm -hmm. But now we have our decimal, and we have a 0 here. That is definitely smaller than a 4. So, um, seven and four tenths is greater than in this case. Now I'm gonna go across here and once again you have to look at the left first. We have a zero before the decimal, zero again before the decimal. Now looking here, once again, a zero and a zero, all the same. But now we have a four compared to a one. So I'm looking here and four hundredths is going to be greater than one hundredth. Mm -hmm. takes me a minute too, but I sounded smarter than saying 0 0.04. It sure does. So now we're looking at um, our next problem here. 
15 again is similar before the decimal, so I have to look step by step. Now I have a zero after the decimal here compared to a seven, so 15 and 7 tenths is going to be greater than. And it's really easy to want to, I've noticed in the past, just because there's more numbers here, kids want to say it's bigger. And that's not the case here. If you go step by step, this mm -hmm. is a zero, this is a seven, this is still smaller, even though there's more digits. So make sure that you go, you know, one place value at a time to really be able to compare them the right way. Very true. Now looking here too at our last one, we have six again the same before the decimal. Uh, and then we have a three. Now one thing that we wanted to point out too is looking here, we don't have anything here. So we have to think about, well, as a placeholder, we can put a zero here. I wish I could actually put a zero there. But, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. so really this could be six and thirty hundredths mm -hmm. compared to six and thirty seven hundredths. So mm -hmm. of course this one is going to be just a little bit bigger. Tiny little bit. Now we have some problems for you and you can number them right in your math journal and you're going to compare these numbers for one, put your little alligator mouth or greater than less than symbol <laughs> for two, three, and four. Tonight.